there back my little pomegranate that I started from seed back in 2016. As you can see last April it was already out of control so I'll just give it a little prune. I'm growing it in this super tiny pot as well as pruning it quite a lot so we'll see what happens. It's an interesting shape but I'm not sure how long it's going to stay like this but it is what it is for now. It lives under the grow light for most of the year, so it's a pretty good grower. I'm happy enough of it so far. In May you can see there's only one or two shoots that seem a little long, but I pruned these back anyway. Also if you look at the soil line, you'll see it's pretty flush with the top of the pot. Just keep your eye on that throughout the video, as this little pot really starts to get full of roots fast. It almost starts to look like the tree is jumping out of the pot. June is exactly the same again, just a few shoots that are looking a little long, so I just trimmed them back. My plan was to really stay on top of this tree, but I'm not sure what happened. But that plan seemed to get thrown out the window after this. Which is why in July I just seemed to have left it alone. And apparently in August too, where you can see it's starting to get a little crazy now. It could really do with a trim, but nope. Usually in September it's getting a little late in the season to do any pruning. So I just left it alone again and allowed it to do any last minute growing before winter comes. I'm really not sure why I seem to change my plan halfway through the year. But it's okay, letting it grow out won't really do it any harm. In October it stopped growing, so we're now stuck with this mess until the new year. In November it started to lose its leaves. Also look at that soil line now. Some of it is just the height of the moss, but it's certainly risen up a lot in the pot. Oh, and I don't moss my trees. I just seem to live in a very ideal climate for moss. It just comes all by itself, even on the inside trees, which is kind of strange. In December it's pretty much dormant, but I put it out in the shed to give it a cool period over winter. In late February, I brought it back inside and now it's time to prune this mess up before it wakes up. You can see a few branches really took off, but they're not ones I needed so they can just be the first to go. And it has basically just trimmed everything back. I have wired this tree and I think I'll need to do it again. I think the overall shape is a little weird. So I'll have to have a think about what to do with it. But for now it's ready to start growing again. A few weeks later in March and it's exploded with growth. It woke up so fast it didn't quite catch it quick enough. You can see here that a lot of the new leaves are pretty much fully open. So I really should have repotted it a few days ago before this. But it'll be fine, pomegranate is pretty tough so it won't be a problem for it. Here I was trying to show you the soil line but unlike most of my other trees that are stuck in the pot this one just literally fell out. Which is pretty unusual, I don't think I've ever had that happen, but anyway. 
we can see there's a lot of roots in there. This is going to take a while to sort out. I began by getting rid of the moss. It's really nice, but I just don't need it. I'll just chuck it outside. I'm sure more will grow on this pot within no time anyway. I then just start trying to rake out the soil and get everything untangled. I like to untangle everything so I can see what I've got. I don't like just cutting things off if I don't know what's there. That's just always going to end badly. You can really see the roots were super long. It always blows my mind when roots are able to grow this much in only one year. Here it is all raked out before I pruned it. A decent little root ball, and the trunk flare has come along very nicely, so I'm very happy with it so far. Now I just started pruning it, but since it's coming along quite nicely, I don't need to get insane with it. All those extreme root prunes in the past have all started to produce this nice little root spread. As the tree ages, this is only going to get better and better. The need for the extreme work is going to not be needed. All those big cuts when the tree is young really set it up nicely for its future. And here it is after the pruning. Still plenty of roots. It looks great. You can really see just how small of a tree it is. I then just potted it back up in the same pot. I know it's very small, but it's doing alright in there for now. When I eventually get more space I probably will put it in a slightly wider pot, but for now it's fine. And here we are now. I'm happy enough with this little tree. I think it has some good potential. So we'll just keep working away at it and see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time.